All right, guys, update on the uh, front suspension and knuckle rebuild. I'm sure as many of you know, this job is a complete and absolute mess. Uh, my seals were completely blown out. The molly grease had mixed with the gear oil. When I drained the gear oil, it was just complete mud and soup that came out. Uh, obviously, the same was inside the knuckle. As you can see, what's in this... Uh, bucket here just comp just absolute complete mess um so obviously we're gonna do the front dobson's suspension on this as well and the radius arms but really it's just gonna be almost a complete front end rebuild uh, i'm gonna get these knuckles opened up get them cleaned up um, and then i'll probably droop the front end get it all cleaned up hit it with some uh, chassis paint and then begin to rebuild the suspension with the radius arms and then kind of actually do the knuckles and brakes uh, last. Um, wanted to show you all something. Came across some damage as I was opening it up. As you can see on the spindle here, pretty significant groove. I mean, you can, you can hear that pit grabbing that edge. Uh, someone who's in there before, you can tell just used a screwdriver and just beat the crap out of these axle nuts. So I'll probably get some new ones of those. I don't know if new ones came in my rebuild kit. Also, the lower trunnion bearing, the bearing on the bottom of the knuckle, was broken and came and came came apart in pieces when I pulled it out. So uh, I mean, you can see the just complete mess uh, that I'm dealing with here. I do all I do have some new uh, power stop, drilled and slotted rotors. Uh, to go on the front. I went with regular ones on the rear. I'm gonna go with those nicer ones on the uh, on the front. My plan is is to get the the other side opened up. I'm gonna take the the lower steering uh, control arm there, uh, dust shield hub, get that apart, get the knuckle apart, and I'm just gonna take all those to the. Um, there's my uh, my notes from Otram's video of the order to which he took everything apart. Uh, I'm going to take it to the machine shop, have them run this stuff through the parts cleaner. I mean, you would need buckets and buckets of solvent uh, to get through all this grime for a hundred bucks uh, and a run through parts wash washer. It'll be a uh, time and money well spent on the flanges. I don't know if I'm going to re replace these uh, or not yet. I do have new birth fields. Uh, what I need to do is I'll, op I'll open these up and see how tight they are on there, but I'll probably end up, we'll just replacing those. Obviously I'm gonna replace that one spindle. I have to I'm op open up the other side real quick. Um, I did get the, uh, the rebuild kit from Cruiser Outfitters. Um, I have to inventory it. I don't know if, if new axle, the nuts, I don't see any. So I'll have to get some new Oh, a star washer. No, nope. I'll get two uh, axle nuts. I'm gonna open the other side, see what damage. I would say I'm gonna get. I'm also gonna get new calipers from the front from McGeorge again, and uh, all new brake lines. So, see it.